What's up everyone, I'm Alex. And I'm Jack. And today we're going to be doing the Sail Car Forces in Motion Lab. In this lab, you're going to learn about the drag force and how to use it to make the best sail car. In order to complete this lab, you're going to need a few things. First, your completed sail car body. If you're not sure how to build this guy, check out our build video. It'll show you how to do it. Next, you're going to need a printed copy of the Sail Car Forces in Motion Lab. In the back of this lab, you'll find all the sail sizes you'll need to cut out for the experiment. You're also going to need a sensor. We are going to a pocket lab. An electronic device that you can hook up your sensor to to record data and some masking tape. And lastly, you'll need a fan. This is our biggest fan. And that's the first and last time we'll ever make that joke. It's a lie. Once you've gathered these materials, it's time to set up your... Oh wait, nope, set pocket lab. If you're using a pocket lab sensor, tape it to the wheel of your sail car. Then connect it to a laptop, tablet, or phone. Follow the instructions that came with your pocket lab to set it up. Note that the Teacher Geek wheel diameter is 8.5 centimeters. With your sensor set up and ready to go, it's time to set up your track. Now there's a few things to keep in mind when doing so. You're going to want to select a smooth and flat location that's at least 10 meters or 30 feet in length. Next, you want to set down your fan. Also plug it in. With your track set up, you're ready to begin testing. Attach the first sail to your sail car, then send it down the track collecting velocity data. Repeat this process for all of your sails. Then follow the instructions in the printed lab document to interpret your data. And that's how you do the sail car forces in motion lab. Until next time, happy, happy testing. testing.